If you're looking to acquire high quality backlinks in your niche, then a very effective method is by creating a link bait piece of content. Some common types of link bait content include charts, graphs, um, data, guides, or anything that is specific to your niche. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to research and gather data and create tables and graphs specifically for your niche that will allow you to attract high quality backlinks using ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you need to figure out is what type of graph or table you want to create within your niche that will be relevant and that people will want to link to or reference to when they're creating uh, content or articles within your niche. So for example, I'm in the AI niche and I can ask ChatGPT to give me some ideas for link bait data and graphs. So we can see here, I've asked it to um, give me a list of relevant and interesting data that I can create a table or chart for. And we get some, um, some recommendations here by ChatGPT. AI investments over time, AI adoption by industry, machine learning algorithms popularity, AI job market growth, AI startup ecosystem, AI in education, ethics in AI, AI in climate change, and so on. So as you can see here, I get a lot of information here. Some of these things I would not have thought of about on my own, but I can definitely go ahead and use any one of these to create a very interesting chart. And again, you can see the reason why this would be a link bait article, because if we're talking, uh, we're gathering information about AI and climate change, this is not going to be readily available. And if we're able to put that into a nice chart or a nice visual table, then when people write about this topic, they will be more likely to reference our chart because we're the only ones that has um, something like that within that niche. So. Again, this is very, very effective. You can use um, this same strategy for any niche that you're in. So let's create a chart around the AI job market growth. So we can create a line chart showing the growth of AI job market over time. This can include data on the number of job postings and number of applications and the average salary for AI jobs. So this would be a great chart for us to create. So the first thing that we need to do is extract or gather our data. There's a couple of ways in which we can go about doing so. Um, the first method is to just head over to Google and we're going to search up um, our topic here and open any one of these links. And this looks pretty relevant to what we're creating our article about. So what we can do is we can either use the web pilot mode uh, to scrape the content or we can just go ahead and copy this over because we are using GPT-4. We have a lot of context windows. So I find that sometimes that works a lot better by just pasting in that content. And then we already have our tables um, and diagram plugins enabled. So we're using diagram with a dot in the middle and we're also using the other diagram app, um, which is just called diagrams. So now that we have the information and the plugins enabled, I've asked the AI to create an engaging chart or table using the information above. Here is a chart that we're able to get back and it used the diagram app with the dot right after the R. This app seems to be working better compared to the other on ChatGPT plugin that creates tables and charts. So here is a chart visualizing the average salaries for AI and machine learning roles in 2023 across different countries. So the chart represents the average salaries for different roles in AI and machine learning across four countries, India, US, UK, and Canada. So we can see the chart by clicking on this link here. As you can see, it's a very visually appealing um, chart. It is labeled with the different colors. So we have India being red, US being green, UK being blue, and Canada being yellow. So we can see the average salaries, but this is a little bit skewed because it's all in local currency. So for India, it's in Indian rupees. For the US, it's in USD. And for the UK, it's in pounds. And for Canada, it's in Canadian. So that's why it seems as though you're getting paid a lot more if you're in India, but essentially it's just the same local currency. Not um, So it's not really comparing it to USD. So that's why this is a little bit skewed. So we probably want to go ahead and change that within our um within our prompt so that it uh, is more reflective of just one currency. But overall, this, as you can see, is a very, very engaging chart. And if you wanted to now put that on your website, all you have to do is ask ChatGPT to um, translate that into HTML code. OK, so now that we have the code, which allows us to embed this chart into our web page, just head back over to your website. And depending on your website builder or whatever you're using on your website, you should be able to easily add in um, raw HTML code into your website. I'm using WP Bakery. So as you can see, you can add an element, search up HTML, raw HTML, boom. And then I can go ahead and paste that in there, save it, save it as a draft. Now we can go ahead and preview this. And as you can see, boom, our chart is in our blog post. And then you can go ahead and write an article around this specific um, topic here. 
So as you can see, it's very simple and it doesn't take that long for you to gather data and create a very engaging chart um, within your niche. ChatGPT makes it really, really simple to do so. We can extract all of the content, plug it into ChatGPT, and then have it create um, this chart and then just convert that chart in, into an HTML and paste that code into your website. And now you have a very, very engaging article that has a unique data point about um, something specific for your niche, which will allow you to get more links. So what you can do now is you can hit up any websites that may be talking about this specific topic and ask them to include a link back to your chart because people are visual learners. They like to see things um, rather than just read um, blog posts. So you can then go ahead and message some blog posts that talks about the average salaries for AI and machine learning, and you can send them over this chart to link back to. So that's how you can create link bait content, specifically graphs and tables using ChatGPT. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.